Well, let me understand here. Uh, if you are elected to the Senate in November, and uh, we all get into the, the uh, State House uh, next year, and we have a bill uh, calling for Vermont to become an independent nation, yep. separating from the United States, right. you will vote for that bill. Oh, I would, absolutely. And, and how it would pass, in theory, is because it wouldn't happen in a vacuum. It would happen because nine candidates got elected. So that means that the message that was given to, the, to enough people in Vermont to elect them worked, that enough people then realized that they must be independent from the evils of the federal government to a degree that they vote for us. So we will have raised awareness across the state to put the mindset of the people to accept the idea of being independent from the United States, which, which I view as much more of an existential thing than an actual technical fact. I think the technical fact is almost irrelevant compared to the awareness that we each have individually that we're not putting up with it anymore. And that everything we do from that point on proves it. And that includes being independent of the federal government, in fact, by law. And it should be all over the country. It should not be just here. Well, of course, we can't control what other states do. But there are uh, independence movements in, in many states. And if one uh, uh, became independent in the fashion that Estonia did, it would perhaps be a domino effect. And uh, perhaps uh, New Hampshire and Maine would also become independent. And, New Hampshire is uh, a very good candidate. And what would you think about, uh, of course, Vermont alone could make it because we're bigger than Iceland, and Iceland is just, does just fine as an independent nation. Well, Iceland has, I, I don't agree with the examples of some of the European countries that became independent because they had a system within that was already kind of divorced from the larger entity near it or surrounding it uh, economically. Vermont really doesn't. Vermont is tied into, you know, I mean, we put our money, the state of Vermont raises taxes and puts its money into the same place 49 of the other states do. Um, not 50, though. North Dakota has a state bank, which is very interesting, and, and this is another example of what we could do that the two parties will not do. And that they want us to put our tax money in the casino on Wall Street to continue doing that to fund Wall Street, you know, parasites that we don't need to make sure our money is played with by them. Instead, it should be kept in the state as part of a state bank, which doesn't even need a building. It could exist online. But it would mean that the monies, the zeros and ones in the computer, would all be in a law under the state bank that would exist as a law and that people could then online and maybe in some localities actually have a building where they could go to if they aren't online, could ask the state bank for loans and be granted it because that's what North Dakota does. North Dakota is the only state that has that bucks the federal system and tries to uh, divorce itself from the federal banking system by having the state bank and what it what state North Dakota does is it is relatively what we think of as a poor state. It's mostly agricultural, more even than Vermont. It has about the same number of people of Vermont, actually uh, maybe seventy five thousand or a hundred thousand fewer, but it's within our ballpark of uh, we're six hundred thousand like ninety somewhere in there. Uh, six hundred and fifty thousand. Six hundred and fifty I believe that there are more that are not being counted. Uh, whereas North Dakota is somewhere around 600,000. Well, so we're similar size. And what North Dakota has, because it has a state bank, is it has lower unemployment and it has a much better business climate because it has a state bank where people can go to the state bank of North Dakota and get loan and ask for loans and actually get them, unlike our blood-sucking banking system, which is promoted by the Fed, controlled by the Fed, uh, and the federal government, of course, the Fed is a private banking system that involves some foreigners even on it, but 
it, because it calls itself the Fed and it's based in Washington, people think it's part of the federal government. It just works with the federal government and helps control the federal government. Um, we divorce ourselves from that as much as possible by having a state bank that we could actually get loans from. Imagine that, you know, when you're turned down by uh, one of the regular banks to, for a loan to help your business or pay some bills or go on a vacation or whatever the hell you want, it's your business, um, that you could actually get it from the State Bank of Vermont. Well, how is that a bad thing? I mean, it will help the economy. In, in North Dakota, they have been... Um, they have been isolated to a great degree from the national recession. It's a pretty good thing. You'd think all the states would, would do this. No, because all the states are run by the Democratic and Republican parties, as, ben, uh, as Bernie used to say. Um, uh, and they don't want a state bank here. The two parties do not want a state bank, which is a pretty good reason why we should have one. I mean, the thing wouldn't cost anything. I mean, it'd be an online uh, banking system um, for the most part. It doesn't need a, need a building. It'd just be our money would not be put on the casino, in the casino on Wall Street or in toxic bonds, which is what, what it's doing now, what it's been doing since forever. It'd be kept in Vermont to be used to help Vermonters. How revolutionary is that? I mean, come on. We should have done this way back before North Dakota did. But there's nothing wrong with being number two. If we did that, I think we'd see that that's a pretty good example of why we need to divorce ourselves completely from the evils of the federal government in every way imaginable. So if we become independent, what do you think about uh, joining with New Hampshire and Maine to become uh, a, a New England uh, Possible. Or a New if England state? My thinking is I wouldn't want to plan anything like that because... New Hampshire may not want to, may not want to do that, and they may not uh, become independent either. Well, right, right, yeah. right. Uh, there are a lot of possibilities, and my attitude is first things first. You can't plan a future without figuring out how to get like one tenth of the way. We're still in that one tenth of the way, and I think that the groundwork has to be laid. And that's what we're trying to do. It worries me a little bit, though, that you talked about the Iceland versus Vermont. Uh, but I don't think. Iceland has its own economy separate from economies. The Vermont economy is inextricably tied with everything around it. So are you I saying mean, that we can't? Unfortunately, most people, when they, when they hear, do you want to have an independent nation called Vermont, I'll bet you mo one of the first things they would think is, oh, my God, I'm going to lose my Social Security. Or my benefits are somehow going to be impaired. Actually, your benefits would be increased in time, but um, because we wouldn't be, be paying transition. for the war anymore, uh -huh. we would save a billion and a half a year not paying for the war. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good reason. There's right a lot there. of money there for to take care of. A, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and do the things that we need to have done. That we're not but, doing. but are you saying energy that independence? How about that? If we had our own money kept in house, that could be used for that end. That's, that's lowering our fuel bills, our, our energy costs. We have lots but, of mountains for wind, windmills. And we well, could, uh, yeah, but that's not popular, not very popular in Vermont. I think primarily promoted as unpopular by Republicans who have oil stocks. But, um, and then they, then they call it a blight and an eyesore, and it kills birds. Well, you know, if you're worried about birds, and I love birds, the number of birds killed by windmills, wind turbines, are like single or double digits, whereas cats kill something like seven million a year. So we're going to outlaw all cats mm -hmm. because they, I mean, how much do you love birds? Really, that's the reason you don't want energy independence because you love birds. Well, then we better kill all the cats because they're killing a lot more birds than the windmills are. <laughs> well, let me, let me be clear. Are you saying that if we become independent and Vermont is left all alone by itself, we're not going to make it? Well, I I couldn't for tell that, I think what would happen is, as you discussed a little while ago, that there would be a domino effect, yeah. that people in other states and regions within states would say, by God, those people did it, we can do it. You know, and we should feel the same way. If this happened in, you know, uh, pick a state, Alaska, well, probably not a good